Hi, my name is Indy Andra, R&D engineer at Rahal Letterman Landing and Racing. Today we're going to talk about how we use our 3D printers. So today we're going to be looking at how we make a quick disconnect, um, which runs in line uh, with a cooling hose that helps cool our actuation system for our gearbox. Basically where I start is um, these two parts, I model them in CAD. Um, so there's two separate parts, um, a male and a female part. What you see on my screen um, is the CAD of basically these two pieces. For these parts, we use Mark Forge's onyx material. Um, it's a great mix of density and stiffness for the finished product. Once the parts are done being modeled in CAD, I'll bring them into Mark Forge's Iger system where I can import the file and adjust the print settings. For example, I'll take one of the halves of the part, import it, and manipulate it and adjust my print settings such as material, layer height, and infill. Once that's done, click Save. And now Iger will slice the part and create a file that the printer will recognize. And we will eventually send it to the printer. Once it's done, we'll open up this page where it shows the actual part on a representative of the print bed. Um, and then we can either multiply and make even more of the same part if we so desire, or we can also add um, another part in. And now we have both parts that will print simultaneously um, on the printer. Final step of the process is for us to go ahead and send the file to the printer. Once the print is complete, it's time for us to clean up the parts and take off any support material, and then we can go install them on the car. Now that we have the finished parts, we can go ahead and install them right in here. Thanks for watching this episode of Tech Tuesday. I hope you learned a little more about how we use our 3D printers here at RLL. We'll see you next time.